It's funny how things sometimes come together. I just made a not too positively review about the Harley Benton Airborne Pro wireless system, where I praised it for the innovative ideas, but said that it couldn't hold up to its promises of being a pro wireless system, and kind of complained about the main issues that I had with it, like the unreliable charging method, its use of micro USB instead of USB C, and other minor issues, but the biggest flaw of all being the bad sound quality, which ultimately led me to not recommend anyone to buy it. Well, not even two weeks after making that video, XWife contacted me to tell me about their latest digital wireless system, which seems to fix pretty much all the issues I had with the Harley Benton system. Let's talk about it. This is the new XWife A58, a digital wireless guitar and bass system that uses the 5.8 GHz band as the name implies. I already explained the benefits of 5.8 over 2.4 GHz in my previous video, but to put it very short again, these digital wireless systems run on Wi-Fi frequencies of which you can nowadays run into problems with the 2.4 GHz band since it's very commonly used and therefore it can happen that you get interferences and dropouts in your signal, whereas the 5.8 gigahertz is usually not that overcrowded also because it has less reach leading to more free channels in your system. The downside is there are not really affordable options when it comes to 5.8 gigahertz systems for guitar and bass. But XWife wants to change this as it seems since this A58 system costs only 150 bucks. Full disclosure, as I already mentioned, XWife contacted me and sent me this unit for free for this review, but no money changed hands and they didn't have anything to say in making this video, nor do they get to see it before you do. So this is my own and honest opinion, not a sales video. And we'll get to the flaws of this thing, so don't worry. I'm gonna give one A58 system away, but more on how you can win this later. Right off the top, this thing makes a really good impression. It actually does fix a lot of the annoyances I had with the Harley Benton system. Both transmitter and receiver have a USB-C port for charging and there's even a double USB-C cable included so you don't need two chargers. There are six channels from which the receiver automatically does a scan and chooses the best channel so you never have to worry about accidentally being on the same channel as one of your bandmates or unknowingly choosing a channel with interferences from any other device. While the Airborne Pro completely failed the sound test, this thing absolutely takes it home. I couldn't hear any difference between the wireless signal or when using a high-end guitar cable, so I'd say this is as perfect as you'd expect from a digital wireless system. <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in this room at least, the design. Since I've said it many times before that I'm absolutely not a fan of this guitar buck design, I still prefer the good old body pack that you attach to your guitar strap. That's why I even made a video on how to convert such a guitar buck into a body pack style system yourself. But I have to say, XWife came up with a pretty sleek design here and it's also the smallest transmitter I've seen, so I don't think it looks as ridiculous as most other systems I've seen so far. And sure, I get it, these things are probably mainly targeted to the masses who prefer the ease of use of this design. You just plug it in and are ready to go without having additional instrument cables, wires, chargers and whatnot laying on the floor. So I definitely appreciate how XWife made everything so tiny and compact here but still manages to keep the professional audio quality. But I think with this super small design they also brought some weird flaws when it comes to actually using it on different guitars, namely this thick hinge here. On guitars with a straight outside plug like my PRS for example there are no issues. But as soon as I tried it with other guitars with angled plugs 
things got a little bit more complicated. On my Ibanez S-Series, for example, with this angled drilled-in plug hole, you want to put it in this way, but it doesn't fit. So you have to turn it around and fold it over. Now it fits, but it also blocks a quick access to the bottom control knob. Not the end of the world, but it's kind of annoying since it would fit in so much better the other way around. I've tried it on different Ibanez instruments with this plug type and they all have the same issue. On my Jackson Rhodes, it's the same problem. You think the best way to plug it in is like this, but the hinge is too thick, so it doesn't fit, which leaves the only option to turn it around 180 degrees and fold it over. Again, not the end of the world, but still a little bit annoying. But then again, when I try it on my ESP, which has pretty much the same plug type, it fits. So it really depends here on the manufacturer of the plug type and you can't say, oh, it only fits a certain way on strat style plugs or whatever. You really have to try it yourself on every individual guitar you want to use it and see for yourself. But that's pretty much the only complaint I have with this design. I don't know if it would be possible to make this hinge smaller on a future model, then it would fix this issue on all instruments for good. But also, maybe it fits fine for your guitar or bass, or you just don't care if you have to flip it over. Naturally, I also tested it on stage, because no studio test resembles all obstacles a wireless system can encounter during a real concert. And what can I say? It worked perfectly. Great sound, no issues whatsoever, and the reach was absolutely sufficient with its claimed plus 20 meters, so I even had a good signal when walking off and behind stage. The only thing I didn't like was that with just too much movement on stage, for example, the transmitter tends to spin around, at least on this guitar, but that was a super simple fix with a tiny piece of duct tape. So I definitely can recommend using this thing live. All in all, the X-Wife A58 is a really reliable and affordable wireless system. Despite the small issues with fitting certain plugs, the sound quality, USB-C charging, small size and the solid performance on stage make it a system I'd confidently take with me on live shows and of course for a casual playing at home or at the rehearsal. So. As I said, I'd be giving away this A58 unit to one lucky person out there. What you have to do to participate is to get a bit creative. Imagine this. If you could take this wireless system anywhere to play your guitar or bass, where would that be and why? Tell me in the comments until the end of the month and with a little bit of luck, this thing is yours. But that's gonna be it from me. A big thanks to all these people over here for supporting the channel. If you're interested in hours and hours of exclusive bonus content like outtakes, behind the scenes footage, making offs, lessons and monthly live streams, click here and consider becoming a patron. If you want to see another video here on YouTube, check out this one which YouTube thinks would be the most interesting for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.